Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting in the tiny house, having my coffee. I got up extra early today because starting at about 9 a.m. it's going to start, well, you know, you know. Um, so I got all of my chores done. I got all my plants watered. So for the rest of the day, huh, I've been brainstorming something, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a try today. Ta-da! A homemade solar oven. I think. Maybe dehydrated. I don't know if it's actually going to work. I've seen these made before. I just took a box from a pressure canner and cut it apart and kind of shaped it. Used the leftover remnants of the insulation that I had and kind of I ran out of um, tape so I kind of taped it sparingly in some places. Taped it all together so I don't know. Let's see if it works. Okay. Before we test the temperature of the oven. Let's just test the ambient temperature of this particular spot. It is 95 degrees. So let's put it in the oven and leave it for about five minutes and see if it goes up. Okay, there we go. Let's let it go for five minutes and see how quickly it goes up. If it goes up at all. Whoo! Five minutes and it's already, gosh, it's hard to see. 154 degrees. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. 166 degrees. Oh, it is going up. Let's wait about five more minutes. Oh my gosh, that whole thing is super hot. Another five minutes has gone by and it's 188 degrees. I don't know if it's actually hot enough to cook anything unless I'm going to slow cook it, but I have another idea. Alrighty then. Hmm. What do you think I'm going to do? I think I need to go pick me some vegetables. Well, I think this one will be first. Maybe I should do it down this way. I want to cut my fingers off. There we go. One. This one's grown overnight. Check it. Oops. Sorry. Cut a leaf. Two. Here we go. I cut those up. I didn't cut all of it up and put it on there. I ate about half of each one and they're delicious. Mm, mm, mm. But I kind of elevated the one underneath with some foil that's just been balled up and there's holes poked in the foil. So I'm going to just let it sit out here and let it bake. Hopefully dehydrate it. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to see. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking it needed some airflow. So I just got me a little a little fan here, USB fan, and I've got it hooked up to a little battery bank right there. So it will circulate the air. Um, the only thing I'm concerned about is if flies and bugs get here. And before too long, I'm going to have to move this because the sun is going to shift and start beating down that way. So I'll have to set it over there on that table. But I think we got a good, uh, I don't know, maybe 30, 45 minutes left in this spot. See, it's already... I'm going to have to pull it forward. Got it down here on the steps. It'll be here for probably about another mm, 45 minutes to an hour. So I'm going to put the timer on and I'm going to check it periodically to make sure flies aren't buzzing around. I don't know if they will because it just gets so hot in there. So uh, yeah, let's see if this thing works. Moved it over here. So let's see how this is doing. I can definitely see that they're drawing. Yes, they definitely are. I just need to go around and kind of pick at them and turn them around. And this, this bottom tray, I'm going to have to shift every now and again. But they are all drying. So, almost two hours. And this seems to be working. I hope that this gets done before nightfall. It's been going a little over three hours now. And it is dehydrating. They are. I've been moving this little tray around, but I don't know if this is going to be done by nightfall. The humidity here is, it's under 50%, so I mean it is still humid. That's part of the reason why it's getting so hot, <laughs> but uh, I don't know if these will be done by the time the sun goes down. We'll just have to see. If it doesn't, I'll bring it inside where there's practically no humidity because I've been running the air conditioner and bring it out again tomorrow. But there's been no flies lighting around this so that's good. They say that it takes about a minimum of five hours to dehydrate summer squash anywhere from five to eight hours. Um, less time if it's in an, like an electric oven. 
So, I don't know. I got about mm, three hours more <laughs> before the sun goes down. So, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it's going to be done today. Here, sweet peas. There you go. Come get some food. They are just so sweet and they're growing so fast. Look at their wings. The tails, they've all got wings, they all got tails. That's a classic sign of a hen. Early development of feathers and tails. I'm not seeing any big combs on any of them except for maybe this black one, the barred rock. So who knows? Look at how cute they are. Oh my gosh. What are you doing up there? What is going on? You sweet baby chickens. I love, love, love baby chickens. Come on. Come get something to eat. There you go. This one. Oh no. Kind of hard to see his comb, but it's the biggest one. Oh, you're going to scratch it out of my hand? <laughs> What's up, dude? Or dudette? Whoever you are. Love them. Look at their cute little faces. Well, it's been going a little over five hours. And it has reduced in size quite a bit. But I don't think we're going to be able to accomplish this today. That's okay. There's always tomorrow. I'm going to let it keep going. There's a little bit more sun, a little bit more heat going. I think just maybe it's a little bit too humid out there, but it's definitely working. What's up, Papa? That's a good boy. Yeah. You're staying cool inside the tiny house with the fan on you. I know. You've got all this fur. You good boy. What you doing, chickens? In the rehab center. <laughs> There's kickstand. It rained really bad the other day and his little wraps got totally messed up and they were hanging on him so I had to take them off. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to heal this chicken up. You see how he's walking now since he doesn't have the little hobbling restraints on. But he gets around so I don't know I'm, I'm gonna have to rethink this. Miss Beauty, I am seriously considering her putting her back with the flock. There's Roxy. Roxy has become a holy terror. <laughs> but Beauty is getting around pretty well. So, and she kind of like pecks at the other baby chicks <laughs> when they go up to roost at night. So, I don't know. I think it's time. We'll just have to see tomorrow how that goes. Anyways, we'll keep this short. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.